Hello again. We are looking at Chloe right now. Uh, it's gonna be very, very early because this is like, what, a few hours after release. Usually I wait for like at least 12 hours to give them time to update the data, but they're, they're, they do not have date, full data on Chloe yet. So I'm just gonna somewhat go through. Yeah, because I think the, the main data she doesn't have is her third skill, which I'll get to shortly because there's a lot of stuff here. There's no data on that yet, but everything else is there, so I think it's okay. Let's just quickly just check her out. Alright, Chloe is a dark character, subtickable. She has 1160 HP, she has 7880 attack, very low HP. Attack is decent, on average I would say. A special style, melee. Girl boss every day. Massive dark damage to for extend dark allies height by one turn. Oh. One turn cut to Chloe's skill cooldown. Oh, is this Ogi again? Is this Ogi? Serving the look. Boost to dark allies multi-attack rate. Boost to hype. Uplift effect and additional effect when one adorb is consumed. Amplify normal attack damage. Also, Zeus is in the background. Adorb, huh? Adorb. Make it pop. Strength effect to caster. Boost to dark uh, attack debuff immunity. When one adorb is consumed, affects dark allies. That's my goat. Damn, goat man. Meh. Switch out with a sub ally. Can only be used when adorbs. When out of adorbs. When switching uh, with a dark ally, shield effect, sharp boost to attack, sharp boost to stats, while Chloe is a sub ally. Yeah, this one. I think this is basically what makes her good, this skill. Legit shaking right now. Oh my god, that's cringe. <laughs> Three adorbs to Chloe at battle start. When Chloe has at least one adorb, deals multi attacks. Charge attacks activates twice. This isn't like King, no, I don't think so, no. Uh, BFF, BFFs, yo. Refresh effect to dark allies. Light damage reduction takes effect even when Chloe is a sub ally. Oh, that's actually a really nice sub ally. Uh, effect though this one all right so the only numbers that we have is the multi-attack ones 100 percent double attack 50 percent triple uplift is 10 percent amplify is 10 percent this one is the same i'm pretty sure you can go check this was based on how many like what stack you're at the higher it is you can get to up to 100 i think 100 percent hype hype is just a really really insane uh mod for your raw damage this is really good for a newer player. And then uh, this one, which is weird because she mentioned twice. The stamina, you can get up to 20% extra damage. Minimum is 10%. And then the dark damage attack thing is uh, 25%. So you can get it up to like apply to everyone. So that's cool, I guess. All right. The only number we know about this is the barrier. The barrier is 1,000. Uh, 10,000. 10,000 barrier. That's all we know. There's no numbers for everything else. But I can maybe assume that it's very similar to some other characters that has these kind of stuff. Yeah, especially for those who are new, right? When the term says multi-attacks, it means double attack, by the way. If it's like a character that is always going to be 100% triple attack, they will say triple attack instead. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> they, they call it multi double attacks as multi-attacks. Refresh is... 350 and then uh, light damage reduction is 5% wasn't it like no it's not that no especially it just says this right deals multi attacks so this is a double attack so like uh what's the best example to compare Ilsa is guaranteed triple right there you see you see the wording <laughs> it's weird right <laughs> hers is deals triple attack see it's, it's weird and then, uh, who's a double attack Andy? Yeah, there. Yeah, 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 da, 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 da. Leech has it too, see? Yeah, Leech has it too, see? Deals multi-attacks. For those who are not familiar with the, 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 the terms in GBF, whenever they say deals something something, yeah, that, that, it means that, especially in their passive, right? It means it's, this is just guaranteed double attack. Whenever it's possible, they will never single attack. They are always double attack. They can trip, they has a chance to triple attack. They do not have guaranteed triple. If they have guaranteed triple, they'll say, <laughs> it will say deals triple attacks. 
Yeah, you'll see a deal triple attacks. I think even Bowman has that too. Bowman has deal triple attacks as well. So just 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 to point that out, okay? If anyone's not uh did, did not realize that's the case. So she has the guaranteed double if you have that. So I guess that's kind of alright. Pretty okay, I guess you can split her with uh Nia in the back line. Okay, what's her EMP like? Where's her EMP? So she has three triple attacks. Holy shit, that is loud. She has three triple attacks, one dodge, one crit. One dark attack up and two defense, huh? I mean, I guess you can get kind of get triple attack on her, but you definitely want that to give her some raw damage, I suppose. Even though she's buffing everyone, including herself as well. If you want to use her for full auto stuff, you can just include this as well. Dodge is also kind of okay because I think she's very usable in full auto. But if you don't really care, if you're only using this, you're basically spamming your skills fast enough to the point that you can uh, immediately use this, right? So you can uh, immediately swap out to another character and have that buffs. But it's kind of it's kind of fast in a way because you can uh, pop this, pop this, attack, and then next turn you can press this already, right? Because you... It says you only need it at zero, right? Yeah. Because she doesn't refresh her adorb stack thing. And she only starts at three, right? So she takes one. Wait, does she consume it? No, I actually don't know. Wait, no, it doesn't consume it, right? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, whoops, my bad. I thought that was consume, man. Fuck, wait, does it consume? Oh, man, if only it was consumed, though, right? I thought this was consumed first. Ah, shit. That was really loud. I might actually immediately go off, by the way. <laughs> With the weather like this, I might just get cut off. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure how it is. According to what this says, it doesn't look like it's consuming it. It just says as long as he has one. So in other words, you need to really ogie with her to really make you uh, speed things up, which is kind of cringe. Because this reduces the cooldown, right? And this is uh, 8 turns, right? If I recall correctly, it's 8 turns, right? Yeah, both of them are 8 turns cooldown. Both of these, the first and second skill, are 8 turns. So you need to ogie a lot in order to speed this up. A lot. You technically still need to auto, full auto with her, in order for you to really just immediately get this up. In order for you to do that, you probably, you definitely want to keep her alive if you want to do that, right? So dodge is definitely helpful. You definitely want to get her this. And if you want to make her more consistent, I would definitely say getting two of each of these would help a lot. Because you kept, you basically get 2% per level. On the last level, you only get 1%. So I would only suggest two of each of these. So that's like two, six, and uh, you get six triple attack. Two, four, six, right? So you get 6% extra triple attack on her. So if one, two, three, so that's nine, nine plus six, nine plus six is 15, right? So you have three left. So you can get like one here, one here, and just put the, the remaining, uh, the remaining uh, slots anywhere up to you. You can give her attack, you can give her uh, double at. I don't think. Why would you put double attack? <laughs> Wait, it just occurred to me. Why would you want to put this? Because you're speeding it up, and she always will have double attack anyway, right? So what's the point? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think you want to do that. Just put put on other stuff is fine. For all I know, she has actually have really, really okay buffs to go along with her. Just to buff your other party members. So this one is actually pretty good. Yeah, those ones are pretty good. This ones are pretty good as well. But the thing is, it only lasts for 3 turns, and you can get this spell. So if you are... Not having any form of Dispel Cancel, because it doesn't look like she has Dispel Cancel built in. You're pretty much fucked. <laughs> you need a debuff cancel somewhere, because she only has debuff resistance, which is a veil, right? This is just a veil. She doesn't have any Dispel Cancel, does she? From what I, from what I remember seeing, she doesn't have any. <laughs> right? She doesn't have any. This doesn't give you any Dispel Cancel. This is the only thing that doesn't get removed. And this only lasts for 5 turns as well. Okay, before I was severely cut off by Zeus. Hopefully he doesn't do that again. I was orig originally trying to get to the, 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 the whole idea. I feel like the whole idea of this, right? Whenever you have a character that gives these kind of buffs. When you get swapped from the back to the front, right? Like, you want this character to swap the person from the back to go in the front. So in a way, like, you're buffing that character in that back line. You know, like, uh, take Grand Ray, for example, right? Because Ray does that as well. You kind of want that, right? 
But at the same time, having only last for five turns seems kind of shit, isn't it? I yeah. So what was I saying? Okay. <laughs> the uh the thing is, you you if you want to switch someone. It's not, it's not like the character is only gonna last for 5 turns, right? Maybe you can get that, but like, it doesn't really seem to... I feel like it seems kind of like a meme. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, right? I'm not sure who's gonna do this. <laughs> or who's a mad lad to actually do this. What you could... Maybe someone would actually do this. What I'm thinking is that she will swap into the back, right? Swap to the person from the back. That person stays alive for only 5 turns and somehow magically dies. Because you know you can death. <laughs> and then she'll come back out again. And then do this skill again. And then you repeat. <laughs> S -s sounds really dumb though. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a really fucking stupid idea man. For it to only last for 5 turns seems really dumb though. That's why I think like it's like yeah it sounds good. I do not know how much is the multiplier of this. I'm just guessing it's probably just standard multiplier for this. Swap out MC. You could pos potentially do that, yeah. You could potentially do the, the whole Street King tech where you bring out the... You actually bring out like say Nia from the back line and then you bring MC back with her. Something like that. You could actually do that, I suppose, yeah. You could potentially just bring her out again, right? But then again, that is probably really, really long. I suppose then you can eventually get this back up again i suppose but i don't know it's like it feels quite a bit of a hassle to really like consistently make that work so i feel like you just like what you could do is like yeah you just buff your 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 team you just buff your team here and there all right get get this up or whatever just buff your team and then what you could do is that you just do this eventually Onto the next character, and then when the fight turns up, fuck it, right? You just say screw it, and then just continue on with your life. Just keep going until he's dead, right? This will just buff you in the beginning. That's about it. I think that's probably the the, the best way to tack, like go go along with this kind of uh, character. Other than that, she I don't think she really does a lot of damage. She's just like a really really strong buffer in a way, but at the same time, it's like if you're planning to use her. Only like that one cycle, it doesn't even last that long because it's only 3 turns. Yeah, maybe you could, I don't know man. For all I know, you could probably just press this and just death her and call it a day. <laughs> for, for, I don't know, like burst setups to say. Maybe, I don't know. You could do that. For now, I feel like she's just gonna be your backline Andy f for the time being. Because it's still quite nice to, to, to have it. Just put her in the back line. At least you have some light damage reduction. Can say no to that, I suppose, right? <laughs> and then if you uh, actually want to do bring the back line kind of thing, yeah, I guess you could do that. But yeah, too much hassle though. But yeah, I think for, for the most part, she seems very like okay at best. Doesn't seem to be like super crazy. I know this is her first SSR version after all. Maybe guess that some people might actually just use Chloe for the memes though. Especially during Guild War or something. Who knows, right? I mean, the, I guess the animation is quite, quite nice, I suppose, right? See, Zeus reacted the moment she did the bubble gum thing. By the way, damn, Zeus is into her, man. <laughs> Zeus, big fan of Chloe. <laughs> Zeus likes her, man. He wants some of that, some of that delicious legs, yo. Know? I don't think I can really say much about her either, cause yeah. I feel like I need to end again just because the the fucking weather is really screwed up right now. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's about it, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys find this helpful in any way, shape or form. And I'll see you guys next time. XDD, alright.